It's the early 20th century. The Arctic and Antarctic poles are the last unexplored lands. Explorers race to be the first to conquer the North Pole, only to meet an icy grave. After the First World War, technology opened the way to the snowy lands, the Zeppelin. The airship Italy was among the first to arrive at the North Pole. But a blizzard frustrated its journey back. My grandfather was one of the few survivors. Many years later, I found the journal where he told the story of that fateful journey. He had met the Inuit people who healed him and told him of their legends. He heard about the God of Wishes and the immense wealth he promised. For the rest of his days, my grandfather sought the treasure the legend spoke of. He never returned from his last expedition. I am determined to learn what happened to my grandfather in his last voyage. Hello, good morning everybody! Welcome to the Saturday morning stream. This is Mystery Expedition Prisoners of Ice. It is an older game. Uh, there isn't any new releases for you guys. No casual adventure game release. So I have to go back to the catalog and look for an older game to play. An older casual adventure game to play. And this is the one that I picked. This is music! <laughs> Getting your heart pumping already! <laughs> Moni with away, Monimo, welcome to the stream! <laughs> Are you guys liking this music? <laughs> hey Kunga5, hello everybody in the chat! Welcome to the stream! Once again, we are playing Mystery Expedition! Uh, Prisoners of Ice! Hello Kira Mukadi, hello everyone. Welcome everybody. This stream is sponsored by our wonderful members of the channel, including our VIP members Timothy Mayo and Blaine Mayo and Moderator Way. Uh, next, we have our elite members Chris Bowman, Jersey Kid, and Jusuni. We also have our fan club members Lucas Oviera, Athena Freeman, and Autumn Mears, and Mo Nemo. I also want to say thank you to the whole bunch of levels of uh, basic level channel members. Thank you very much for your support. Are you guys ready to begin? This is Mystery Expedition Prisoners of Ice. I don't remember the developer's name, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. All right, uh, casual mode. Yeah, casual mode, please. Means we nope casual mode. I've given up my medical practice and spent all I had in organizing a new expedition to the Arctic. I am the doctor on board the ship, apart from providing patronage.
We were getting close to the village my grandfather talked about in his journal. But disaster struck again. The engine has blown up. Due to all those rusty parts. Stalling the ship in the middle of nowhere. Oh. We are now prisoners of the ice. So many things happened in the last few days. Perhaps my diary can help me understand what's going on. Dear diary, note to self. Don't let rust be the problem here. <laughs> rust will eat your ship apart. Rust is why we are now the prisoners of ice. It's because of that rust everywhere on board. On every metal bit here. <laughs> anyway, the race in the Arctic was at its peak during the early 20th century. Many expeditions ventured to the North Pole, many of them never returned to, and during the 1920s. However, technology would allow new ways to travel through merciless snow. Alright, so that is like a quick traveling map, guys. It's inside the journal. Interesting, guys. It's in the journal. Oh. Nope. I don't want any help. Nope. Hello, Renata. Welcome. Hello, Levena. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Door is locked? <laughs> Why is it locked? I'm locked out of my own ship, guys. Search begins for the last survivor of the Italy, Henry Noble, grandson of legendary explorer Umberto Noble, has embarked on a search for the, to the Arctic to find his famed grandfather. This elder noble was one of the merely a few survivors in the ill-fated expedition to the North Pole. Despite a narrow escape and miraculous rescue, he headed north once more, and this time, never would return. It's my family duty to find out what happened to my grandfather. Henry Noble said that in an interview. Inward odds. Hmm. I don't think this is important here. Yeah? Expedition ship departs north from Bergen Harbor. And my vaccine, where did it go? Somebody has been taking my things. Inside my log cabin? <laughs> oh, I see bugs on those vents. They're morphing objects. <laughs> Interesting music, guys. <laughs> it's my grandfather's casket, but it's locked tight. Need to remember correct combination. So it's a five number code. Do we know any five number code? Okay, let me look at my my nooks here. Oh, you know what we can do? We can get out of here now. Using the paper. Alright, hold on. Let me adjust the volume here. The sound is a little bit low. Right? No 
lower the music a tad. It is kind of overwhelming. The other sound in this game. All right. Uh, five number code. Do I know any five number code? Sablons could fly over the icy lands and reach the North Pole in a few days. The airship Italy was one of them, but then succumbed to a violent blizzard. My grandfather was one of the crew members who lived to tell the tale. I was rummaging my grandfather's possessions when I found a journal where he talked about his adventures on Italy. He wrote about the Inuit legends and their belief in a god that would bestow them with infinite riches. He became obsessed with obtaining th that treasure and went back to the Arctic to find it. He never came back. Now I'm following my grandfather's steps to my doom. Hopefully not, guys. <laughs> All right, five number code. So that newspaper, oh, it's gone. <laughs> There's something about the Inuit treasures on that article. Anyway. Oh, oh, hello. So you're awake, Doc. Good. There is something wrong with Captain. I think you should go check him out. You are a real person. <laughs> a real person. Hello. Hello, Seaman. Hello. Wow. I didn't know there are real actors here, guys. Awesome. How exciting. Never see real actors in a casual adventure game in a very long time. This is exciting. All right, we need to fix this uh, power panel. We need fuses. Captain, knock knock. Captain, he has lost consciousness and has a fever. And I am impressed, guys. Um, they fit into. The graphics pretty well. These real actors here. They don't seem out of place at all. They fit the surrounding areas. Wow, I'm impressed with the graphics here. Before he can get a blood sample, I need to make a tourniquet. Tying something around his arm should help me find the right blood vessel. Right. Like using the scarf. Frozen water. Oh, is it that cold in here? Wow. Well, 30 plus 145. Okay, do I need to add them, or add them up? Combine it two times. But there's no way for me to adjust the time here now. We'll come back to this. Oh, I can see the veins, the vessels here. Where's my first aid kit? Hello, do you know where I can find the first aid kit? No, you don't. <laughs> uh, too dark, not, uh, not into the room, but I cannot see what's in there. All right. So that is not where I came from. Let's go back here. Where's my first aid kit, guys? Maybe it's in here. A five number code. So that's the Sapulon. Where is that article again? Let me look at the article. 
the Zeppelin article. Uh, oh, I like this mini map here. It is inside the journal, guys, but it is telling us exactly what these rooms are with these icons. The important icons like the captain, the fuse panel, and the microscope. Lazy Turtle Games, thank you very much. That's the developer of this game. Thank you, Moto Ray. February 18, 2014, with this date. Thank you. How was my uh, 4th of July weekend? Oh, uh, not weekend, but uh, <laughs> yesterday, celebration, huh? Actually, two days ago. <laughs> it went pretty well, yes. I had a good time, Renata. Alright, I need a code, a five number code. Where can I find one? Let me look at this again. Page with a sample. The captain is ill. Need to help him regain consciousness. But I want to know what is going on here. Oh, you know what? With me, I don't need the code. Oh, I don't need one. Try one error, guys. Two four. Oh, two four one. <laughs> ah. Please come back to me soon, your wife, Jane. Uh, my wife and my boy. Help my family by going on this adventure. Now all I want is to return to them safe and sound. Alright. Uh, airship ravaged by a snowstorm. Only a few of us survive. So this is my grandfather's notes. Another whole day plodding through the snow, met some Inuit people who provi provided us with shelter and food, uh, attempted SOS signal to no avail. Uh, December 1st, the Inuit people told us of legendary treasures, such a great temptation for an adventurer. May 3rd? Actually, no. Uh, March 5th. <laughs> Rescue! At last! And May 21st, finally home, said we came back empty-handed. I know the treasure exists. And, alright, you know what? I... <laughs> I don't I don't know how to read this date here. <laughs> Which one is the year number? <laughs> the month and the day. This is all over the place. There's a 33 here. If that is a year number, then this is July 25th. 33? But then we have 21 here. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, I leave for the new expedition to the Arctic. Those legendary witches must be mine. Alright. My grandfather's diary. New lands. Oh, I still don't have a syringe. Where can we find one? Move the fuses so that all lamps turn green. All lamps turn green. Is there a designated number, guys? Maybe there are like two fuses on this row. And this one has two. Two, 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 two. This is a one. Three. 
this is a two. Alright, here we go! Oh, fix the lights here. Uh huh. I really like the graphics in this game. Even though it came out like 10 years ago, this game. But still looking very impressive. A vaccine kit. And also the music is awesome. So many tracks already in this game. My grandfather caught this during his expedition up the Amazon. And actually, the fish caught him when he bit his hand. <laughs> And he brought the fish back. <laughs> Aha. Paflina, hello, welcome. This is like our first hidden object puzzle, guys. Um, I can always switch to jigsaw mode. Click anywhere to continue. So there are two different modes here. Aha, uh -huh, interesting, guys. Okay, we don't need it right now. Two plus two equals. Equals a pen. <laughs> I need to find a pen. Or a marker. A lighter and a valve. I don't know. <laughs> Where is the valve? Uh, that is a valve. Oh, it's star shaped valve. Alright, that's the uh, first aid box. Can we find a kit in here? But it's locked. Hello, Ilya. Hello, everyone. Right, do I need this uh, vaccine kit here? Ah, so I'm preparing a vaccine for the captain. I still don't have a syringe. I need a key to that first aid box. Is that the key to the first aid box? Small key. Syringe! 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 Probably 
or hopefully sanitize. <laughs> we don't want to infect the captain with something else. <laughs> he is sick as he is. Oh, I need a blood sample. More the way the way, happy July, and the streaming support. Thank you very much for your support, for your donation here, more the way the way. Twenty dollars, thank you very much. Uh, analyze the blood sample. All right, let's go, everyone. Thank you again. You're the best moderator here on YouTube. So glad to have you on board. All right, so let's look at the instruction here. We have to put this onto the slide. Do I need the pressure dish or not? So look through the lens, isolate each virus so it became black. Use drops of the vaccine. Press the left mouse button to make a drop and press it again to finish the injection. Don't touch the viruses while you are dropping the vaccine. Isolate each virus, okay. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I don't get it. Use drops of the vaccine. Wait, huh? Don't touch the virus as well, you are dropping the vaccine. So, how big do I need the vaccine? Or how big the circle needs to be? It's hard to avoid all the droplets here. Oh! Okay, we isolated that one already. Okay, I get it now. I have to click again. So they have to... Stop bouncing, huh? We have to stop it from moving again. I kind of get it. <laughs> oh, that one turned black. Oh, so it turned black when it stops moving, I suppose. Uh huh. I get it now. Wow, interesting puzzle, guys. Interesting puzzle. Okay, that one stop moving now. Come on, stop. All right, hopefully that will change the back. <laughs> it is still bouncing. Oh, yeah, perfect. Interesting puzzle, guys. Wow. Ah! Got it. <laughs> nice puzzle, I like this. Now I know the type of virus that the captain has. Let's get the vaccine ready! Perhaps something that starts with the C? <laughs> and they end with a D. I don't know. Uh, now I know the type of virus, yes. So we have to prepare the vaccine by combining these colorful chemicals in a sequence, I suppose. Follow the sequence.
The vaccine is ready. Use of syringe again. <laughs>